Doesn't the divine help if he is not called? It is not altogether like that. The divine consciousness works always, everywhere, and in the same way. The divine grace is active everywhere and in all circumstances in the same way, and so on. But according to your personal attitude, you create within yourself the conditions for receiving what is done or not receiving it. And trust, indeed, trust in the truth, trust in the grace, trust in the divine knowledge. This puts you in that state of receptivity in which you can receive these things. Whilst, if you have no trust, you may still try to receive something. There are people, for instance, who fling a sort of challenge. They throw a challenge at the Divine and tell him, Here's the situation such as it is. I am in these conditions which seem to me at least inextricable. It is impossible to get out of them. But if the Divine pulls me out of the difficulty, I shall put my trust in him. There are many people, they do not formulate it like this, but many feel and think in this way. Well, this is the worst of all possible conditions. Generally, it puts you into a complete whole. And it is exactly the state most opposed to trustfulness. And besides, it is a quite vulgar bargaining. If you do this for me, I shall have faith that you exist. I am going to try and see if you really exist and whether you are what they say. Do this, and we are going to see clearly if you succeed. Then I shall trust in you. And many people do that even without being aware of it. Any number of men say, how can I have trust in the divine? I have such a lamentable and unhappy life. That is to say, they limit the divine consciousness to their little personal needs.